Hello and welcome everyone to the video. In today's video, we are going to look at how to find the number of factors of any given number. So before we do that, let's try to understand what do we mean by a factor. So if a number A is completely divisible by the number B, then B is called as a factor of A. For example, if you look at the number 12, what are the numbers that can divide 12 completely? The number 12 is divisible by the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So all of those numbers are its factors. What do we mean when we say that it is completely divisible? It leaves a remainder of 0, right? So when you divide the number 12 by the number 5, you will realize that the remainder is 2. And hence, 5 is not the factor of 12. Now, as long as the number is small, we are able to figure out the number of factors very easily. When the number becomes very large, then how do we figure out the number of factors? That's very, very important for us to understand. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to try and understand how to find the factors for a larger number. So let's take one example and try to find out the number of factors for 4,86,000. Now, first thing that I want all of us to do is to bring this number down in its prime factorization format. What do I mean by prime factorization format? What are the prime factors involved in this particular number. So 4,86,000 can be written as 2 power 4, 3 power 5, and 5 cube. By prime factors, I mean to refer to the number 2, 3, and 5. These are prime factors of 4,86,000. Now, how many times a 2 is involved there? Four times. So 2 power 4, 3 power 5, and 5 cube. If you multiply these three numbers, these three numbers, you are going to get 4,86,000. Right? Now, let us try to understand and experiment a bit as to what can be the factors of 4,86,000. So take your number 2 power 4, 3 power 5, 5 cube and divide it by 7 square, which is a different prime number, which is not involved as a part of this particular number. So the prime numbers which are a part of this particular number are 2, 3 and 5. So I've taken a 7 square. If you divide the number by 7 square, you will realize it is not divisible. And hence my, prime, my factors of the number 4,86,000 must not contain a 7 in it. Let's experiment with another prime number. Let's say 11 cube. Will it be divisible? No, it will not be divisible because 11 cube in the denominator will not find 11s in the numerator to get cancelled. And hence, this is also not divisible. This brings us to an important understanding about the factor that my factor of 4,86,000 must definitely be of the format 2 power A, 3 power B, and 5 power C, where A, B, and C can take various values. Let's now try to experiment with the values of A, B, and C. So if you take the value of A as 5 and try to divide your given number by 2 power 5, you will realize it is not divisible. Why? Because 2 power 4 is present in the numerator. That will cancel four 2s from the denominator. But there will be one 2 left in the denominator, which will not find a 2 from the numerator to get cancelled. And hence, the values of A must always be less than or equals to 4. So what are the values of A less than or equals to 4, which are possible? 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. With these values as the values of A, you will realize that the number will be able to divide the given number. Now, one thing that I want to highlight over here is A equals to 0 is a value that you should not forget. Because if you take A as 0, B as 0, and C as 0, you will get the factor as 2 power 0, 3 power 0, and 5 power 0, which is the number 1. And number one will be able to divide 4,86,000. And hence, one is a factor of 4,86,000 that must be counted in our number of factors. And hence, the values of A, B, and C, all three, should be taken as zero. Zero should be taken into consideration. Now, let's experiment with the values of B. So if you take the value of B as 6 and try to divide your number by 3 power 6, you will realize it is not divisible. This implies that the values of B must be less than or equals to 5. What are the values possible? Again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are the five, these are the six values possible for the value of value of B. Now let's take the values of C as and take one value of C as 4 and try to experiment with this. 2 power 4, 3 power 5, 5 cube will not be divisible by 5 power 4. And hence the values of C must be less than or equals to 3. What are the possible values? 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we have now got down to our values of A, B, and C. A must be less than or equals to 4. B must be less than or equals to 5 and C must be less than or equals to 3. So let's try to experiment by taking some values, some random values for A, B, and C and try to form a factor and understand whether it is dividing my original number or not. So let's experiment with the value of A as 2, B as 3, and C as 1. Then my factor would become what? 2 square, 3 cube, 5 power 1. Now divide your number 
by 2 square 3 cube and 5 power 1 and see if it is divisible. You will realize everything from the denominator will get cancelled from something or the other in the numerator and hence this is divisible. So 2 square 3 cube 5 power 1 becomes a factor of 4,86,000. Now the question is how do I count all the factors? All the factors you can count by taking any combinations of A, B and C as the value out of the values listed over there. So how many values of A are there? There are a total of five values of A are there. You can choose any value out of these five values and you will ensure that your number 2 power A, 3 power B and 5 power C will become a factor of 486,000. Similarly, B has got how many values? 0 to 5, so 6 values. And C has got how many values? 0 to 3, so 4 values. So how many number of factors are there for 4, like 86,000? It is 5 into 6 into 4, which is 120. So how many factors of 4, like 86,000? 120 factors of 4, like 86,000. Now let's complicate this question a little bit more. And rather than simply trying to find the number of factors, we will try to find specific kind of factors of the number 4, like 86,000. So let me change this question and let's try to look at num finding the number of even factors of 4,86,000. Now, how do you find even factors of 4,86,000, right? So take your number 2 power 4, 3 power 5 and 5 cube and your factor must be of the format 2 power A, 3 power B and 5 power C. But now understand that we need the factor to be an even number. So if your factor 2 power A, 3 power B and 5 power C has to be an even number, that means it should contain at least one two that means your value of A must not be zero because if it becomes zero, then in the entire factor, you will not have a two and hence it will not be an even number. So what are the possible values of A? Of course, less than equals to four, but zero must be removed out of that. So what are the possible values of A for this particular question? One, two, three, and four. How many values? Four values. Now look at the values of B. B must be less than equals to five. Now we will not have any constraint for B because we are choosing the values of A as 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you choose any of these values out of 1, 2, 3, and 4 for A, you will ensure that your number is a prime number. So there is no constraint on the values of B. And hence, all values of B will be possible from 0 to 5. So total of 6 values. Similarly, for C, there is again no constraint over there for my factor to be an even number. I don't need a 5 or I don't definitely need a 5. Right? So what are the possible values of C? 0, 1, 2, and 3. So how many values? 4 values. So what is the number of factors for 4, like 86,000? Even factors of 4, like 86,000? The number of values of A are 4, B is 6, and C is 4. So 4 into 6 into 4, which is 96 even factors of 4, like 86,000. On the previous screen, we had seen the number of factors of 4, like 86,000, which were 120. Number of even factors are 96. So if you do 120 minus 96, you are going to get your odd factors as well, right? Let's try to do one more question of the same nature, but slightly different from what we have done just now. So we will now try to find the perfect cube factors of 4,86,000. That means my factor must be a perfect cube. Let's bring this number down in the prime factor form, 2 power 4, 3 power 5, and 5 cube. And my factor must be of the format 2 power A, 3 power B, and 5 power C. But now we need this particular factor to be a perfect cube. That means if you raise your number, your factor to the power of one by three, it will give you a factor like this, which is two power two to the power of a by three, three to the power of b by three, five to the power of c by three. Now this particular number must turn out to be a rational number. That means a by three must give me an integer. Similarly, b by three must give me an integer and c by three must give me an integer. That means the values of a, b and c must be divisible by Remember, one is a perfect cube, right? So values of A, B, and C can be possible. Possible values of A, B, and C must include a zero in it because zero is divisible by three and it will give you a two power zero, which will give you one, three power zero, which will give you one and five power zero, which will give you one. So ultimately you will get one as a factor of four like 8,000, which is a perfect cube factor. So what are the possible values of A now? A must be less than or equals to four, but you want the value of A to be divisible by three. So what are the possible values of A? 0 and 3. What are the values of B? B must be less than or equals to 5. Possible values of B are 0 and 3. How many values? 2 values. Similarly, C has got how many possible values? Less than or equals to 3 such that the value is divisible by 3. So C must also take 0 and 3. So 2 values. So how many perfect cube factors are there for 4,86,000? It's 2 into 2 into 2 which is 
eight factors. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with three questions. I want you to try and find out the answers of those three questions on your own with the method that I've spoken about. You'll find the answers in the comment section. And if you still have any doubts on that, please feel free to comment on the video and I'll be happy to answer any of your queries. These are your three questions. Please try finding out the answers for three questions. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead. Thank you.